G'day, you wonderful people. We are here today for our monthly Costco haul. It's right there behind me, as you can see. This haul came in at about $120. We did bump it up with some non-essential items, some Christmas items, getting ready for Christmas. Can you believe it? It is November already. Only a few more weeks until Christmas, so we're getting a couple more items ready for Christmas. Anyway, guys, if this is your first time here, we budget about $200 per month on these monthly bulk Costco hauls in Australia. So we are a vegan family of four. There's my wife, myself, and our two young boys who are all vegan, and we do these monthly bulk hauls every single month. And we are in November now, and I have some items that I really wanna show you guys this month, giving you a bit of an insight of some of the vegan friendly items that are now available at Costco. There are so many great items available at Costco. You gotta keep your eye out sometimes because there's some really great items there. Anyway, let's get into this haul straight away. Oh, here it is guys. This is a very straightforward Costco haul here today. Got some toilet paper as well, so that's about $30 worth. But all here about, I don't know, about $80, $90. So we came well under budget this month. But not featured here, we did actually get some Christmas items. They actually have like a middle section in Costco with like toys and books and clothes. So we actually got our kids some books and some other bits and pieces in anticipation for Christmas, only about six, seven weeks away. So let's get into this haul anyway now. I have down here 60 fun size bags of the Skittles. We bought one of these, I don't know, I feel like about eight months ago and we've only just got through it. Maybe got a couple of these purple ones still. But what they've got, three different packets in here. They've got the purple wild berry, the regular Skittles, and the sour Skittles in here as well. Fantastic, really great price, and it's just really great to have these on hand. So if we've got some kids' birthday parties, if we're going out and about, Halloween, these were perfect to have available as well. Really great value of Skittles. I believe 98% of the Skittles range is vegan friendly, so that is fantastic there. Over here, we got this massive box of Savoy. Here, so Savoy crackers, if you're in different states, they sometimes call them Jats as well. I believe there's only a little bit of slight difference. Jats is a little bit sweeter than Savoy, but in Melbourne, we call them Savoy, and these are fantastic and actually vegan friendly, if you did not know that. So they actually used to, maybe a few months ago, have them in bulk packs of four, but now they got them in bulk packs of six. So this is actually gonna be something that we're gonna be having on hand, ready for Christmas. We are planning to have about 25 people over for Christmas. I'm gonna be making up a massive Christmas feast. So having some Savoy's for some like a cheese platter is gonna be fantastic. Really great value when you get six in there. Yeah, it's fantastic. Vegemite, we love Vegemite. Our kids love Vegemite. I love Vegemite pinwheels, Vegemite on toast. You know, the kids love Vegemite sandwiches as well. So this massive 950 gram tub of the Vegemite generally lasts us a couple months, like two, three months. So it is fantastic for us. We go through Vegemite quite often, so it is fantastic to have this available. S works out so much cheaper than the supermarket, so it is fantastic. Maple syrup, you cannot go wrong with some maple syrup. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will notice that a lot of my recipes use a lot of maple syrup in sauces, kind of giving that little subtle bit of sweetness in a sauce. I use these in so much sauces, like most people use maple syrup on pancakes. I use majority of this tub of maple syrup in food recipes. I actually make this really maple glazed mince for my nachos, which is fantastic. And honestly, probably the best maple syrup that I've tasted. And it is massive, one liter, it is unreal. Over here, the roti. So this is fantastic to have available. So a lot in there, 1.95 kilos of the roti. So this is fantastic. It's really hard to have a curry without some of these cooked up on the side as well. So it is very fantastic and such a great value as well. These stay in the freezer for a couple months, so it is perfect. Got some of the Bird's Eye Golden Crunch chips over here as well. So this massive two kilo packet is just fantastic to have in the freezer. Readily available, have it as a side for meals. It is just fantastic. Have it as a snack just with some gravy is fantastic as well. Over here, just four lots of the Abbott's Bakery bread here. I always say it guys, you are gonna be paying a little bit more for these. So they do a two for one for about $6.50, so which is fantastic anyway in comparison to the other supermarkets. All their range is vegan friendly and it is actually really fantastic bread. It's a little bit pricier as I said, but the quality is so much better than your tip tops and you just your home brand. So this is really fantastic. 
quality. They have like a CD loaf, they have rye bread. There's so many different varieties, but we have actually started to get four loaves each month. Chuck it in the freezer. The kids love some toast, sandwiches. We all love those sort of stuff, toasties. So we are actually finding about four loaves will actually get us through for a month now. Kids getting older, they are definitely eating a lot more now. So over here, this is an essential item for us, the Borg's Puff Pastry, fantastic. And on the front down here, it says vegan friendly. So having some puff pastry on hand in the freezer is fantastic. Make pinwheels, make pies. If you are looking to make easy pies, get a $29 pie maker from Kmart. With the puff pastry, you chuck in your filling, so easy. Pie maker has been one of the best investments in my kitchen, I love having puff pastry around. It is fantastic for snacks and just meals in general. So this will last us a month. We'll get one of these each and every month, but very good value there. Over here as well, just one packet of the frozen raspberries coming into the warmer months now. So we're definitely gonna be ramping this up. So the frozen fruit at Costco is fantastic value. Massive packets as well. So this one here is a 1.5 kilo packet of the raspberries. They have blueberries, they have mixed berries. They have frozen mango as well for about $9, massive pack. So next month, we'll probably get some more of these, a couple packets of these, get some frozen mango as well. Start making up some smoothies, smoothie bowls. Fantastic to have during the warmer months. Unfortunately, there was a couple missing items this month. We didn't get really any snacky items. And also, they didn't actually have any of the Yumi hummus available. So I'm actually really shattered about that but they had the Obella hummus, not as good as the Yumi, so probably just go to Woolworths or Coles to get the Yumi's hummus. But there we go, guys. As I said, this was probably about $80, $90. We got some toilet paper as well, so about $120 all up on our normal grocery haul at Costco. <laughs> then we spent about $60, $80 on Christmas items, ready for Christmas next month. So if you are looking to get into Costco, they have some fantastic Christmas items and also some fantastic vegan friendly items as well. They got like Beyond Burgers, they got like a bunch of nuts. I actually really want to suss out the nut prices and kind of compare other supermarkets to see if the nuts are worth it at Costco. Anyway guys, this was just a quick little haul at Costco this month, but we are going to be preparing this December. We're getting into Christmas, so definitely stay tuned for next month Costco haul where I am going to be getting well and truly prepared for Christmas. So there we go, guys. That was our monthly bulk haul at Costco. This one was actually relatively cheaper than most times. If we didn't spend about $50, $60 on Christmas items, this would have been well and truly under our $200 budget for our Costco hauls. What I actually really wanna do in the future is actually start comparing nut prices as well. They really do actually have some really bulk packets of nuts, so I really wanna actually compare them in comparison to other supermarkets and see if they are worth the money, if we'll be just buying one massive 1.5 kilo of almond and it will last us a year. Anyway, I really actually wanna suss that out next haul. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this Costco haul of our vegan family of four. Hope you got a little bit of an insight of some of the vegan items that are available at Costco Australia. Definitely worth checking out Costco yourself. There are so many fantastic vegan friendly items that you can find at Costco. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, check the like, share it around. And if you do go to Costco, please let me know what is currently filling your massive Costco trolley every time you go to Costco at the moment. And if you enjoyed these sort of videos, definitely do subscribe. I do these monthly. I do monthly Woolworths and Coles shopping hauls as well, giving you an insight, a greater insight of vegan friendly items in Australia. So until next time guys, I will catch you all very soon.